Uh, diagonal cutter, or dikes they call them. So if you hear someone refer to give me a pair of dikes, it's not what maybe you might take a pair of dikes over. It's that. That's for cutting like wire, cutting uh, in metal. Um, we use those quite a bit. Cool. Moving along, before we get down to actual hands-on, we talk about, we know what this is, right? Hammer. It's a hammer. It's called specific. This is a hammer? What's the difference? I don't see any difference. What's that? There's a nail remover. A nail remover? <laughs> yes, it's something, you know what that nail remover is called? A claw. A claw. <laughs> a claw hammer. This is called a claw hammer, right? Um, and right, that's exactly, that's for prying, for lifting, for pulling out nails. This is called a ball peen hammer. It's really for shaping metal, um, and we don't really use it that often. Um, but just so you know the difference, they're, they are different tools. You don't, and you don't use this for driving nails anyway. It's really for shaping metal. Um, this is called a pry bar. This is for the same kind of thing that a claw hammer is for in the end, prying stuff, pulling nails, things like that. Um, cool. So we got those covered. Let's take a look at um, let's take a look at screw guns. So these are all battery operated screw guns, right? Um, they look a little bit different. These two are essentially the same, and these two are essentially the same, right? This is a, this is a drill, and this is what's called an impact driver. Uh, the difference being on these with a drill, I have more. I can adjust the speed on the top. Gear one, gear two. Gear one is slow but strong. Gear two is fast but not as strong. I can't do that with this one. But this one has a little ratchet inside, so it's kind of stronger all around. I can't really drill with it, though. This one I can take and put in a drill bit in here, and then I can, can, can drill with that, right? There's a little trigger right here. Above the trigger, there is, I can put it in forward or reverse. There's a little arrow. You can't, probably can't see it until you get close to it. If the arrow is pointing towards you, that means it's in reverse, it's pulling out. If it's pointed away from you, it's driving forward. It's important to know that because I've seen students have the thing in reverse and go, is that working, is that working, professor? And they'll go forever. You have to have it in forward to make it go in forward. Um, same thing with this one here. It has the same kind of switch, right? Um, but again, you don't really use drill bits for this. Um, all of them have a battery on the bottom. Each of them gets removed a little bit differently. This one, you pull it there, you take out the battery, you put it on the charger to recharge it. To get it on, you just slide it back in place, right? There it is. This one, uh, the button is here, you gotta release it, and same kind of thing, it slides on like that, and it can charge over there. So your first task is, we'll just pass them around, take the battery off, put the battery back on. So, no, I mean, you don't have to put it on the charger, just take take the battery out of the gun and then put the battery back in the gun. Battery. Take the battery out of the gun, put the battery back oh. in. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can't see myself with this. Okay. You will. All these go. These are all mine. Right. more. Nice. So. Did you get it? Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just want to see that you can take the battery out, put the battery back in. Sounds kind of rudimentary, but you know what? Apparently, it's not so rudimentary. So. You can go with the big stick. Oh, this one. That's true. We can do that while we're waiting. So this is just, I mean, this is a, a staple gun. Um, staples, and we, we may end up using this. Uh, it's pretty simple. Staples load in here. There's a few staples in there right now. Um, right? And, and, and when I use the staple gun, I put it on the table or whatever I'm stapling into, and I press down here and it shoots a staple. Uh, and we'll shoot a staple out the front of it into someone else. So don't ever, you know, uh, <laughs> it's not to... And fly across the table. That's right, it's not the Matrix or anything. It's just play production class. Um, so please don't do that. Uh, there's also pneumatic staplers that, we, that are in the theater a lot, and building sites. I don't have any pneumatics here, but uh, if we needed them, I could get a hold of them. But. 
but this is pretty basic. Cool. Keep going. While that's going on, then um, what we're going to do is is you're, you're all going to have a chance to to drill a hole, and you're going to have a chance to drive the screw. I'm not sure I trust myself with these. Oh, I trust you. Nothing to worry about. It's easy. So. Um, as far as drill bits go, there's a lot of different kinds, but a couple on the table here. This is called a twist bit. You can see it's got a, a twisted shaft on it, right? That's just for making, there's a variety of different sizes from, you know, large, about as big as you'll fit in one of these is half inch wide, down to smaller ones. Uh, this is called a paddle bit or a spade bit. You can see that's like a half inch wide, but here it's very narrow. So I can get, I can buy these where they're almost like an inch and a half wide. So I can make a great big hole. They're a little bit harder to use. Um, but because they will sometimes get stuck on you, but they're good for making large holes. Um, cool. Everyone had a chance to to swap out the battery. We're still going around. <laughs> yes, and we'll do that that saw as well. We will we will work on that saw. Um, so the first thing is then. Here's the next thing. We're going to um, to put in a drill bit on the, the drill right here, right? This is part of it is called the chuck right here. If you see there, there's little teeth in the front as I'm spinning out, they're like going backwards and they go forwards, right? So when it's going forwards, those little, little fingers are kind of getting smaller when they're going back, they're getting bigger. So I have to make sure that when I put in my drill bit, that I have it inside the chuck there and I tighten it down. So for example, I put it in there using just my fingers, you can hear the click, now it's nice and tight like that. Or if I'm going to be really slick, I can use the trigger and like that. If I'm skilled, but if you're not skilled, you don't have to. You can just use your hand with it off. But it needs to be nice and tight, otherwise it'll spin. So what we're going to do is everybody's going to have a chance to uh, put in the drill bit, drill a hole, remove the drill bit. So let's come over here a little bit closer to this table.